everyone how y'all doing so i just wanted to quickly um come on here and make a little video um of me basically answering some questions To, like to clarify because I saw there was like some misunderstandings and stuff going on I'm a hairstylist right I work this lady is going the wrong way in the street <sighs> oh my gosh okay <laughs> So I'm driving in a one way and this lady literally just Well Anyway, so um yes, I'm a hairstylist. I work um in a salon suite. I have a salon suite that I'm renting um in my area and that's where I see clients and do hair at. I do not own like a full blown salon yet. God willing, I'm able to do that soon. But, um, so yeah, I just work by myself. I have an assistant that comes a couple times a week, but that's it. So because of that, um, I can't really double book or triple book or whatever people be doing. I can't do that because it's just me. So I basically see clients one at a time. What I do what I do do sometimes is like if I if I'm fully booked and somebody insists that they want to come this time or there or whatever and I'll tell them okay well I already have you know appointments that day like I'm already booked so if you don't mind you can come but it'll literally be me coming to you in between like me working my other client some people are okay with that some are not if they're coming just for like to get their hair treated like a wash and go or something like that something quick they're okay with it because i'm able to just do that in between and then they're out of there but if it's something long like i won't double book a like i don't know a client who's getting highlights or something like it's gotta be something quick or something that i know i'm capable of doing or fitting in in between clients or switching back and forth and stuff like that if not I um I won't double book because it becomes an issue for me it becomes an issue for the client like I can't I can't leave when I'm supposed to and I can't just be at the salon or at the suite all day I have things to do I got to pick up my daughter I got to take her to daycare pick her up from her classes or whatever like she's got karate and stuff so um, I have to come on time I have to see my clients on time and I have to leave on time and that's like a pet peeve that's a really big pet peeve for me um uh time is serious for me i i get upset when people keep me waiting i get upset when people are late i don't like to be late so i have a very strict time policy um but it doesn't mean people don't come late people still show up late they just have to deal with the consequences um but i yeah, I'm really big on, on that. I don't I don't go by colored people time. I don't go by Caribbean time. You know I'm Haitian. I go by whatever time it is. If it's if your appointment is at four o'clock, I will be at the salon by 3:30 the latest waiting for you. Um because some people do come early and if I'm just there chilling or whatever, then I'll let them in and we get it done early and they get to leave early. Um but yeah, I'm I just wanted to quickly talk about that and address that really quickly um something else that <laughs> was brought up was my height i am five feet tall y'all i am only five feet tall so matter of fact i have a video <laughs> i have a video like making little fun of you know the struggles the that us short hairstylists go through um, it's not too many short hairstylists that I know of or that I've seen so I can't I don't know anybody that can relate personally or I could go to for some venting because I'll be struggling man and some people are just tall and then they sit on the chair and they're even taller 
and I'm over here like you know blow drying like if I'm doing a blow I gotta go like that like it's just it's a struggle it's a struggle I have to have a stool with me I have to have a stool at home like in the apartment that I was staying in last recently the for some reason it seemed like the the cabinetry in the kitchen was like way taller than usual because usually if I do a little tippy toe I could reach you know but this thing here, boy, I had to get on a stool, like the top level, it's the two, two level stool. And I had to get on the top, the top level stool to, um, to, to, to reach like the, the highest level of the cabinet to reach whatever I had up there. And I was like, oh my goodness, like, <laughs> that apartment i only stayed in that apartment for a year and it was a struggle it was a struggle more than usual because i have struggles every day being a five foot tall woman in this world where nothing is created for us <laughs> except stools <sighs> anyway so the third thing i wanted to really address was um you guys talking about um what was it The third thing that I saw that people talked about a lot was pricing. Um, some people think I'm really cheap. Some people think I'm not cheap. Some people think I'm fine. Like, which basically says it all. You can't price based on what people think, especially people who are not in the industry, in the uh, beauty industry or cosmetology field. You can't you can't um, set your prices based on that. I um, I right now. In my opinion, right now, my prices are low. They're low. They're a lot low than I would like them to be. Um, not a lot low, but they're low, you know? Um, and prices are going to go up based on what else goes up around me. Like, what my products, the rent for where I, for where I work at, um, services, stuff like that. So, um it's whoever's opinion is whatever i can't i can't base my prices on people on people's opinion because everybody's gonna have different opinions nobody's gonna agree on something that that um varies so much from place to place from city to city county state you know what i mean so um as far as that goes my prices are my prices i can't negotiate i won't negotiate um it's just that I already think my prices are low so why would I negotiate that for anyone or with anyone you know um it's just that you guys like I don't know what else to say anyone else who's watching this or sees this that's a hairstylist y'all know the struggle of deciding on a price first of all deciding on a price that fits your skill set your knowledge and how how much experience and how good you are and then second picking a price that kind of goes with the area that you're working in you don't want to have manhattan prices at i don't know in in texas you know or you know what i mean like it's not not to knock manhattan or, or texas or whatever i'm just trying to show the difference of how it works um i i i live in an area that's not really like it's not like high high up there as far as i work not live the area i work out of it's it's not the the it's not a a, a high-end type of place it's decent it's nice the suite especially i work in is very secure you have to have a coat to get in there's cameras everywhere i love that about it um, but the area itself is just a normal area. It's not like a super fancy or, or high price area. It's not like a downtown of whatever. You know what I mean? So that's another reason why my prices are where they're at. Um, yeah, that's why my prices are where they're at. Not because, not because I... I listening to anybody else i'm just trying not to be too high and then there's some people in that area who think my prices are too low there's some people in my in that area who think my prices are too high 
you know it's people's opinions i can't i can't really i can't really fight that i can't do nothing about it people think what they think and um that's it you know hopefully um my work speaks for itself enough so that i get clients who who think um the price is worth it who are willing to pay what i charge for what they want from me um that's what i hope for and pray for and i do get that i get clients who tell me all the time that oh my god like I'm, I'm gonna start coming to you because I saw your prices and they're lower than um, other prices I've seen. Or I get clients who tell me straight up, girl, why your price is so low? Especially being where you're at, you know? So it happens. And that's that. I can't really, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. But yeah, I just wanted to do this video to address those three things that were brought up a lot to me social media and on here um yeah so that's it like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye